spent over a hundred hours testing the most popular security plugins. By the end of this video, you will clearly understand the actual effectiveness of each plugin and know which one is the best choice for you. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Julian and I work at BlogWall, which helps over a million sites with flawless backups. All right, let's start the video. We've added summarized information from our testing in this video so that it doesn't become too long. If you want more details about anything, just comment below. And before we get into the main part of this video, throw us a like below because we spent almost two months testing plugins to make this video, okay? So come on, hit that like button. You can do it. It's free. It's really easy. And I'm watching. I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. All right, let's start the video. Malware scanning. WordFence's scanner flagged most of the malware, although not all of it. Why? Well, WordFence uses a method called signature matching to catch malware. Signature matching means that WordFence scanner compares your website's code to a database of malware signatures and flags malware if it finds any files that are matching. This can never be 100% effective because their team needs to have seen the malware before they can add it to the database. And new malware shows up much faster than any team can document it. That's why WordFence is only about 60 to 70% effective in catching malware. It is good at picking up malware found in the WordPress core files, folders, free plugins and themes, but it cannot detect malware in premium plugins and themes like Elementor and the website's database. This is a problem because malware can very easily hide in these locations. Another problem is that there are a ton of alerts and a high number of false positives. This can lead to a real danger of genuine alerts skipping through unremarked. Lastly, the scans take a lot of server resources to execute, bringing down site speed and performance. Sukuri has two scanners, an online one called SiteCheck and a server level scanner that is part of the plugin. SiteCheck cannot scan the full website, but it can identify common malware infections quickly and without the need of installing a plugin. That's why we often recommend SiteCheck as a quick first level diagnostic for malware in case someone suspects that the WordPress website has been hacked. We had greater expectations of the server level scanner considering it would have full access to the website. It took a lot of time for the scan to complete and our malware ridden website was apparently free of hacks. We ran the scan a second time to see if there had been, you know, some kind of mistake. But no, still no malware according to Sukuri. So we raised a manual removal request. Once the request was handled by Sukuri's team, the site showed up clean on malware. So the on request cleanup seems effective, but the malware scanner is definitely unreliable. Another issue was that if you want to enable the daily scans, the plugin itself will warn you that scanning a website will use up your server resources and therefore impact the performance of your website. Honestly, that is terrible because security should not come at the expense of performance or user experience. So, as a conclusion, I'd say that Sukuri's online scanner called Sukuri Site Check may be a decent and quick diagnostic measure, but I would not recommend the server level scanner that comes with their plugin. Alright, if 50% of dealing with a hack is quickly detecting malware, the other 50% is being able to quickly remove it from your site. So, next, we'll talk about malware cleaning. Malware cleaning. WordFence gives two options for dealing with hacked files delete all deletable files and repair all repairable files. The delete option got rid of one file successfully without errors after showing a terrifying message about how deleting files can break your website. The repair option once again had a warning about site breaks. We realized that these terrifying messages about a possible site break may stop someone with an online store or high traffic website from trying both delete or repair because there is just too much risk. But we powered through and thankfully it was able to repair most of the files. When we ran the site through Malcare scanner, the site was free of malware. Now, WordFence's malware signature database is quite comprehensive, so we slightly increased the difficulty of our test. We added the hacked redirect malware to our website database with a few instances of the Japanese keyword hack for good measure. We also hit chunks of malware in our premium plugins and themes, suspecting that these things would trip up the scanner and cleaner. And you know what? They actually did. The conclusion that emerged is that if WordFence team has already seen the malware, then repairing the files works. Otherwise, it does not. WordFence also fails when there is malware in the database. So malware like that of the redirect hack or even just newer malware will definitely be missed. It will also miss malware in the non-core WordPress files, non-public plugins and themes and premium plugins and themes. In case the automatic repair does not work, you can also opt for WordFence's malware removal service. 
The service removes malware, backdoors, and assesses the site for vulnerabilities. WordFence also helps with delisting the malware-ridden site from any blacklist it may have landed on. The site cleanup is guaranteed for a year, only if the site admin follows the post-hack instructions to the letter. We cannot comment on the malware removal service's efficacy because we did not try it, since the $490 per cleanup was too expensive to be a regular solution for most people. If you are interested in trying this, please find the link in the description. Even though Sukuri scanner said our site did not have malware, which it definitely did, we requested a cleanup, not expecting a lot. However, the site came back to us spotless. A quick scan using Malcare confirmed that there was zero malware on the site. For malware removal, you need to request a cleaner from Sukuri, fill out a form with all the information you can provide, and then the team takes it from there. Although our plan guaranteed a response in 30 hours, we got a clean site back in less than 10 hours. We also got a message back from Sukuri with a post-hack checklist with great recommendations. So, overall, the malware cleaning feature with Sukuri is a thumbs up. The only word of caution here is that when you have a hacked site, Time is of the essence. You cannot afford to have malware languishing on your site for even so many hours. Just to underscore how important it is to act fast, Google's blacklist also measures your response time to notifications of malware. So, cleaning malware as fast as possible is really, really crucial to get your site back online. Now, life is much better if you never have to deal with the hack in the first place. That's why we have the third essential feature for WordPress security called Firewall, which prevents your website from getting hacked. Firewall. When we installed WordFence, the firewall went directly into learning mode. This is a required step that is recommended to stay on for at least a week so that the firewall can understand the site's normal traffic and therefore block threats more effectively. After testing both the free and premium firewalls, it is clear that WordFence has an excellent firewall in both versions. They both keep out a series of SQL injection attacks, cross-site request forgeries, remote code injections, and cross-site scripting attacks. We were not able to exploit plugin and theme vulnerabilities as well. That's when we thought we should dig a little bit deeper. What is the difference between the free and premium versions of the firewall? In the firewall options, WordFence explains the difference. The free version loads as a regular plugin after WordPress has loaded. Plus, the free version receives updates after an unspecified length of time, while the premium version receives real-time rule updates. Both of these things gave us a pause. Firstly, a firewall should load before the website for the best protection, because if it loads after your site loads, even the tiny delay is enough for malicious traffic to slip through. Secondly, WordFence may have the most updated firewall, but non-premium users get updates later on, which may be days, weeks, or even months later. That window of time is very problematic, because hackers can attack during it. So, the premium version of Firewall works, but the free version is not good enough. Sukuri did protect our website from attacks. We tested Sukuri's Firewall against vulnerabilities like unrestricted file uploads, XSS, and SQL injections. The Firewall blocked all of our attempts to exploit these vulnerabilities and upload malware to the website. Therefore, Sukuri's Firewall works, but we also have to mention how frustrating it was to configure the Firewall. The way the Firewall works is that it acts like a layer between incoming traffic and your website. Therefore, all the traffic first hits Sukuri's firewall and then is redirected to your website. As you can imagine, this takes some configuration. The domain you use for your website has to point to Sukuri first and the traffic is analyzed and then allowed traffic is sent forward to your website, which is great, but it is a pain to set up the firewall if you do not have expertise with name servers and DNS configuration. Vulnerability Detection WordFence flagged all the out-of-date plugins with discovered vulnerabilities correctly as critical threats. We included a bunch of obscure plugins as well to the list, some with less than 200 users. The other plugins were not able to pick up these vulnerabilities, so it's quite refreshing that WordFence did. The scanner even flagged out-of-date plugins as a medium threat, which is excellent because it is always good to keep everything updated. However, you cannot fix vulnerabilities directly from the WordFence dashboard. Sukuri detected all but the most obscure vulnerabilities on our test website. You can update your outdated software from the Sukuri dashboard though, which is quite convenient. I wish they had also had a visual regression test like Malcare to make sure the updates don't break the site, but sadly, that's not there. The post-hack tab lists out the version of the installed plugins and themes alongside their latest versions. Sukuri cautions against continuing with out-of-date software because they can lead to malware infection. Interestingly, even Sukuri's malware removal service was only able to detect some of the vulnerabilities on our website. Given our experience with the scanner, we thought that the removal service would do a better job of detecting vulnerabilities. That does not appear to be the case. 
So as a whole, I'd say that the vulnerability detection is usable, but nothing exceptional. Brute Force Login Protection With WordFence, Brute Force Protection is enabled by default, and you can go into the firewall section to customize the options. The options aren't overwhelming, and WordFence explains each one cohesively and with great documentation. When we finally got down to testing, the Brute Force Protection works exactly as per the settings we picked. It was perfect each time. So Kuri's Brute Force Protection did work as expected. We didn't experience a lockout, nor was there a CAPTCHA to make sure that we were humans and not bots. We didn't get alerts, even though the attacks showed up in the audit logs. Overall, the feature was a washout. You wouldn't think this when you see the configuration options on the dashboard though, because there are so many options that we were reeling after a point. All in all, we prefer fewer options with a feature that works rather than the opposite. Activity Log WordFence, surprisingly, does not have an activity log. There is an option to enable debugging from the diagnostic section under tools, which allows firewall logs to be a bit more verbose. Besides, by enabling the debugging mode, you will also consume more server resources. After much digging, we discovered an activity log specifically for WordFence events in the scan section. It is a raw log though, clearly intended for WordFence developers only. So Kuri has an audit log, which tracks all user actions and plugin and theme changes. The logs will show all changes made to files and tables, which is good. The logs have necessary information like users, actions, timestamps, etc. But in some cases, the entries are very difficult to understand. For instance, to test the logs, we installed a gallery plugin. The resulting entries on the audit log show seven different changes. It wasn't clear from the entries what the change was, why it was happening, or who was responsible. Therefore, the audit log is next to useless to anyone who doesn't speak Sukuri. Two-factor authentication. WordFence has great two-factor authentication that needs no extra configuration and can be easily activated. There's also a lot of options to tweak here, which is great. Sukuri does not support two-factor authentication for your website, but you can secure your Sukuri account with it. Server resource usage. WordFence scans doubled and in some cases tripled the disk usage of our website as the WordFence scans took place. In fact, any changes to the default settings came with a warning that there will be more server resources consumed. This situation gets worse with the firewall because any sustained attacks can overwhelm the website because the firewall consumes too much of a website's server resources. So Kuri's scans claim to use the website's server resources outright. In fact, they seem to discourage frequent scans for that reason. Frankly, this is terrible. Why should anyone have to choose between website performance and reasonable server bills on one side and security on the other? They weren't kidding though. There was a huge spike in server resources as soon as we installed Sukuri and then ran a second scan. If on a small site the difference is so noticeable, then on a large site it will be considerably more. Alerts WordFence's scanner can generate a lot of false positives, so you don't really know when your website is really hacked. After a point, it can become like the boy who cried wolf. Same with the firewall. The firewall should just block attacks without raising an alarm each time as it does not serve a purpose. Therefore, our opinion is that WordFence generates too many alarms to be useful. Sukuri allows you to set up alerts to be sent to specific people, customize the format of the alerts and much more. Judging by the granular settings for alerts, Sukuri seems to be acutely aware that they potentially send too many alerts. There is a setting to configure max alerts received in an hour, say up to 5 emails. The problem with this is, suppose the first 5 were false positives and the 6th one isn't. Our takeaway here is that any admin is not going to see the forest for the trees. There is just way too much noise. Usability WordFence's installation, configuration, and overall usability is one of the best we have ever seen. There are walkthroughs on each major section, explaining the most important settings and features in a simple, non-threatening language. WordFence has great recommendations for configuration. Their documentation is accessible from the tooltips on the dashboard, making it highly contextual. Each feature is clearly explained, and instructions on how to make it work on your website are instantly accessible. So Kuri's dashboard and settings are insanely complicated. We spent hours trying to figure out what they mean by the technical terms that they use. In some cases, the plugin tells you the recommended setting, so the user is essentially working on blind faith. The only problem here is that Sukuri does not inspire blind faith because their malware scanner does not work. We want to reiterate that the settings are difficult to understand for non-tech users. For example, we did not know there was something called a log analysis software. Sukuri helpfully tells us not to worry about this unless we know what it is. So yeah, thanks for the confusion with a side of condescension. Pricing WordFence Premium is available for $99 for the year, but the free version is strong enough on its own. WordFence's free plugin is really great considering that it's free. The premium licenses are at a maximum of $99 per site and get progressively lower with the more licenses you purchase. 
the real kicker is the site cleaning service which is a hefty 490 dollars per site and although they say unlimited pages in the features additional charges may apply for the sites above 10 gb they do have a malware removal guarantee for one year but there are caveats in the small print so do read those carefully so kuri's plan start at 199 dollars a year per site which is a great deal for unlimited malware removal the firewall works great, but the scanner is a letdown. The support team was great with a quick turnaround time, helpful response and a proactive post hack checklist. But the malware scanner was a complete failure and that's not a small flaw to overlook. Final wording. In our experience, malware scanning, malware cleaning and a firewall are the most important features when it comes to WordPress security. That is why we will score them out of 5. Pricing will be scored out of 3 with 3 being the most bang for your buck and 0 being a bad deal from hell that you should stay away from. The other parameters will be scored either a 0 or a 1. WordFence has its downsides but at least it protects the website to some degree. The scanner is above average and definitely a cut above the other security plugins available apart from Mancare. The cleaner is effective but extremely costly at $490 a pop. WordFence also misses out on bot protection and an activity log. Apart from these things, it's an exceptional security plugin. We have to admit though that it was a close call between WordFence and Sukuri because Sukuri too has its points. Sukuri's cleaner is quite effective and so is its firewall. However, the scanner is quite unreliable, the brute force login protection does not work and overall Sukuri takes up too much of server resources. There is also no bot protection and you would need a separate plugin for two-factor authentication. If you notice, WordFence's flaws are Sukuri's strengths and vice versa. So depending on an individual's personal experience, they will advocate online for the plugin that solved their particular problem. But because of this, there is often no objective answer about which one is holistic better for WordPress sites on online forums and the answer to that is neither. You should not have to compromise on one aspect of security or another. Instead, you should have it all by getting Malcare. It detected all the malware on our test sites within minutes. It was the only free security plugin that managed to scan our sites thoroughly. The one-click cleanup experience was flawless as well. Not only that, the automatic firewall proactively blocks bad traffic from reaching the website. The brute force protection makes sure that your login page is safe from malicious attacks and the bot protection goes even further to make sure that only bad bots are kept away from your website. All of this is done without hindering your website's performance as Sukuri and WordFence often do. In terms of price, Malcare's $99 plan is vastly better than Sukuri's $199 basic platform plan. Malcare is also better than WordFence's $99 plan because Malcare includes unlimited malware removal and WordFence does not. WordFence charges $4 $490 per cleaner. We recommend you get a free trial of Malcare using the link in the description. I'll also add links to all the security plugins in the description if you want to check them out. I hope this video has been helpful. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I'll try my best to help you out. Do hit that like button if you found this video helpful. It really motivates us to make more such videos. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek and I will see you again next week.